Hi Fasters, I've had it pointed out to me since my first uh, video that um, I was woefully lacking on um, some very important information. In fact, I did, I did make mention of these points, but my friend who criticised me for this was dead right in that I needed to elaborate on that and make that much more explicit. So in the next few minutes, I want to, uh, if you like, uh, correct that lack in my first video. Now, there were two things that I wanted to convey in that first video. The first is the wonderful good news uh, of long fasting, the gospel of long fasting. Uh, and that can be broken down into uh, two, at least two um, main components. For those who are looking to lose weight and keep it off, in a way, in a fashion, um, much more in keeping with the body's own mechanisms, then fasting is the way to go. I mentioned the feasting, the famine um, uh, adaptation in humans. It's actually referred to by um, paleobiologists as, and by the way, this is not those nutcases who push the paleo diet. This is real scientists uh, who talk about, uh, who, who identify in uh, hominid history, in Homo sapiens history, actually, to be more precise, uh, a thing called the Great Adaptation, which allowed us to uh, feast when the food was a plenty, and then go for long treks looking for more food. And that was the feast famine uh, adaptation. Now, what long fasting does in 2017 is allows those who have a little bit of willpower and who read up, inform themselves and then get a good idea of uh, what this can do, it allows us to use nature's, our own, our own ad adapt adaptive um, processes to lose weight in a way uh, unlike calorie restriction where we're always hungry and it's so bloody hard and you have to use just willpower, just grunt willpower the whole time. And then when you get down to your um, desired uh, weight, uh, often, more often than not, um, you put the bloody weight back on again because um, uh, you've, you've not dealt with the core uh, addictive relationship that you have with food. Now, this is a bit tendentious. This is just my idea. Uh, I think doing a long fast uh, actually causes you to turn inward quite a lot. And well, th actually, this is not my idea. That, 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 broadly speaking, is just in all religious traditions, in all um, secular fasting traditions, going way back to um, the Greeks. Uh, I think it was Socrates or Pythagoras, one of those dudes who had as a prerequisite to studying in their school a 40-day fast. Uh, so it, it's this, this, this adaptation, this process, this uh, feasting f famine um, key that you, you turn in the body, turning from feasting to fasting, right, or f feasting to famine, has been known about uh, since recorded history, and you can be sure that it's been experienced by human beings way back in prehistory. Now, that's the first thing, the great boon of weight loss. You might say, okay, well, that's to do with our vanity and our um, self-image, important as it is, it's only that. But actually, that's a lot more. We know now, we know that the key to longevity and health in longevity is to be as slim as possible, to be your uh, natural weight. And I think I might have mentioned last time, um, that uh, is the weight that you were, in, in most cases, unless you were obese uh, as a young um, adult, uh, in most cases, that's the weight you were, the healthy weight you were when you were 25. Now, in my case, that was about um, 80 kilograms. Now, in this fast, I'm just going to, no, it's too dark in my room. Um, but I'm actually going for the long fast. I'm actually going to fast until all my fat reserves are gone. And then the body starts to clean up and gets rid of the muck, the broken cells, the cells that are incipiently tumorous or cancerous. 
um, the scar tissue. And in my case, as I describe in the um, in the section below, I have quite a few ailments. And one of them is that as a lifetime smoker, I have quite significant scarring on my lungs. Now, I'm reliably informed that, that even that material, in some cases, can be consumed by the body, which, it identif which identifies it, the metabolism identifies it as available resources, right? Because it's not part of the organ of the lung anymore. It's dross, it's scar tissue, cirrhotic tissue. Now, I have, as it happens, the same uh, problem with my liver after a lifetime of uh, hep C, 35 years of hep C. Now, recently, I, um, thanks to uh, medical, Western medical science and uh, great drug therapy uh, that's, um, that's, that's, that's saving countless lives uh, and stopping this disease, I took that treatment last year and I got a reprieve from hep C and now my liver's having a well-needed uh, well rest uh, in, in having beaten that virus off. I'm going to take it, I'm going to ramp it up one step well, quite a significant step more by doing this long fast. And hopefully that scar tissue too can also be consumed in the fires, the metabolic fires of uh, the famine or the long fast. Now, you see, there are two, that's why I say there are two really important things. And I have my friend Marina to thank for this, for pointing out. It's not just uh, the, the, the weight loss, which would be a huge boon on its own. It's also the hope, the very rational, not the pie in the sky, supernatural, um, new agey, uh, wishful thinking type hope, but a hope based on scientific fact. Um, the details of which I'm quite happy to share. I know I've been very short on um, references, but I'm going to remedy that in coming videos. I just wanted to convey to you guys today that um, the basis for my enthusiasm um, about going forward. Now it's uh, about 9 p.m. local time, so it's in about three hours' time. It's the end of my second day. Um, today I walked, uh, pace walked with my dog. He's the one that gets me out, even if my energy is a bit low. Um, I still haven't eaten anything, of course, I'm fasting. Uh, and I did some yoga and got into some really deep stretches that I felt really, really fantastic. I was peaking with um, this kind of uh, energy that I get when I do yoga, but it's everything seems to be um, um, exaggerated, turned up, uh, fine tuned when you're fasting, and I'll talk about that in subsequent videos too. Um, there's an inc there, there are incredible, very pleasant, uh, very helpful um, benefits of being in the fasting state. Uh, it's very conducive to meditation. It's very conducive to looking inwards. It's, very, it's, 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 it's a good way to make a new start in life. And in fact, I regard this long fast, something that I've had on my bucket list now for 30 years, but thought that I couldn't do because I thought my liver was always going to be a trouble, uh, a problem because I, I, hadn't, I didn't know for most of that 30 years, I didn't know whether um, science was going to come up with the cure for hep C, but it has. And that's just fantastic news for me and for so many people who suffered the same thing. Now it means um, that apart from having the sort of Damocles lifted off my head, you know, I, I never knew when that was going to go chop and I was going to be, you know, into cirrhosis of the liver and then cancer. That's gone. And now I can consider things like the health benefits of a long fast because my liver can actually do it. Um, so uh, I think that was about all for this time. Um, That'll certainly do it. Uh, but yeah, just, if, 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 um, just to underline that there are two reasons that I'm undertaking this long fast and I'm going to give you all solid references and scientific uh, references to scientific um, doctors, medical doctors online, very serious um, researchers and good people, men and women, who are working in this field, it's, the, it's one of the most, well, it's a new frontier, a relatively new frontier and offering great hope for a lot of people um, for all sorts of um, natural cures, you know, the body's own cure for a lot of these, these conditions, for a lot of um, uh, tumours, cancers, um, uh, 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 blood disorders, um, high and low blood pressure, 
the list goes on and on and on. In fact, later in this series, I'm going to quote a guy called uh, Upton Sinclair, who wrote a book in uh, an article actually in, a, in the New York Times in 1910 about fasting, his discovery of uh, someone else's work in the, in the field or a book on the subject. And he then uh, got a lot of people onto fasting and um, he has hundreds of cases of people from, from uh, cirrhosis of the liver, which is my case. Actually, I'm not cirrhotic. I'm, I'm uh, what's called bridging fibrosis. So I'm, I'm a ways off cirrhosis and I'm hoping this fast is actually going to end that. So look, guys, um, come with me on this journey, even if you're mildly interested in the idea of fasting, because I think it's going to be both an inspiration for you to witness someone day by day uh, getting through and um, presenting themselves at the end of the day and, you know, not being hang dog. I mean, some days I will be, and I'll be honest about that. It can get tough. Uh, but uh, my next um, uh, bridge is to cross over from um, using glucose, the last remaining glucose supplies in my body, into the state that I labored last time. And I won't labor it too much this time. Actually, I'm going to close soon of ketosis and that happens between day two and day four i mean i think i'm i think i'm probably in ketosis now uh, i've got to do a urine test you have these little strips that you um you pee on and then they uh, are reactive these strips are reactive to the urine and to different chemicals that are present in the urine and if you have uh what's called ketone bodies and those of you who have been um listening to what I've been saying, uh, will remember from last time that this is the food that the liver takes by transforming fat, you know, that yellow, bright yellow fat that's covering my organs right now, my heart, my lungs, um, my viscera, um, and of course my bum and my, my, uh, my man boobies, uh, you know, my love handles, all of that yellow, um, bright yellow fat, the liver will start converting that into a thing called ketone bodies which is an alternative fuel for the body for the brain and for the for the functioning of all the organs and uh well you know um that's good news that's why i like to think of it as the gospel of fasting for the atheist now i need to talk about the name of this site the fasting atheist um, but i think i'll leave that until next time but just suffice to say this time that there were so many um, vlogs out there with people of goodwill who were pretty, as far as I'm concerned, starry-eyed and sort of new agey. I am not. I'm an atheist. I'm a rationalist. I believe in science. I think science is our only light in this world to tell us about the world. And sometimes it's a very one light. It's a very you know flickering flame and it could easily be extinguished. But for, for now and for the future, it is the only light. I mean, you're not going to get information from Oprah Winfrey's guests divining, um, uh, you know, talking to spirits, channeling um, angels. Um, you, you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to get information, accurate information about the world and about yourself from um, uh, charlatan mystics and saints of all varieties that apply their trade um, uh, with great, uh, uh, great followings and making fleecing a lot of money out of people um, uh, and, and peddling nonsense. And so I'm a, really, I'm a real stickler for that, but I, I'm not going to harp on that. It's just that I want this to be a place, a vlog, a, um, a, uh, an extended um, reflection on a rational approach, approach, sorry, a rational approach to the physiology of fasting and its effects. Okay, I wish you all um, the best, a good night, and um, come on board for the, uh, for the ride. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. If you liked or were interested in anything you heard uh, in the last two videos, give me a like, a thumbs up, and um, read the attached uh, notes that I'll put at the bottom of this file with some references to some other YouTube videos. Um, but if you stick with me, I will gradually spin out the whole um, audio track.